When, when the U.S. Uh, electric system began, of course, it didn't begin as an, as an entire system. Back, uh, you know, not too long after Edison uh, invented the light bulb and we began to harness it for, uh, for use, it began as, as a number of small systems where there was a little generator and there were some uses, often industrial uses. Over time, as more and more of these systems, uh, small uh, systems began to, to develop, um, we realized that there was benefits, uh, certainly economic and operational benefits from integrating these systems together. Um, as we did so, the system became much more uh, complex. And uh, because there's, there's no storage in the system, that is, um, every time we flick a switch, there's a generator out there that's allowing a little more steam through the turbine and turning the uh, generator a little harder to make up for the additional energy that's now required. Just like when we turn that switch off, the, the reverse happens. The generator uh, reduces the amount of steam going through the turbine, etc. cetera. Um, because it's, it's a real-time system, instantaneous operations, it's a very challenging uh, role, and given the the, the huge size of the electric system today after we've knit it all together, all these smaller systems. It is literally the largest man-made machine in the world and, and certainly one of the most complex and most demanding. Well, my role at the lab is, is to coordinate the research in energy storage and in renewables integration to try and um, ensure that we're bringing the maximum value and contribution that we can to helping uh, our clients, which is predominantly the Department of Energy, to meet the national uh, objectives of uh, a clean uh, and prosperous future. Well, we have uh, a couple of areas that are of, of uh, primary importance to me that I think are gonna have high impact, uh, probably three or four different areas. Um, one of them is the development of some new simulation tools at the distribution level called uh, GridLab D. And that is intended to be the, the design tool of Smart Grid. That's the focus of it. And it allows us to, to um, explore the behavior of the distribution system under various Smart Grid uh, concepts and architectures. And that's going to help us uh, guide the future in terms of how we deploy and develop smart grids. So that's, that's a very, very key area. One aspect of smart grid that has given people a lot of uh, potential heartburn is the role of cybersecurity. And I think that's also a very important area. You know, the, the, the premise of getting loads and uh, distributed uh, generation involved in the operation of the grid depends keenly on us being able to exchange information and to do it reliably um, and in high fidelity uh, and for the most part with uh, under controlled circumstances. So the security of that process is important. So we're doing work of a fundamental nature on the exploration and the development of technologies and approaches that would ensure that we have uh, security within our information systems for smart grid. So that's probably the second area of, of interest. Part of our activities is also focused on advanced visualization tools. The, when the operator is, is faced with challenges um, in terms of how he should be positioning the electric system to, to make sure it's delivering you know, cost effectively the electricity we all need, um, he has choices to make. And we try and present, find new ways to present information that gives him insight into the condition of the grid and into the future state of the grid so that he can make these decisions most effectively. I'm Landis Kanberg, and I contribute to developing the science and technology that's going to make our energy future brighter for the generations that follow.